Welcome trainers, Patrick Head Trainer, Training123.net. In this video, we're going to talk about the Training123 Trailing Stops Indicator for Ninja Trainer 8 and how to use it, tips and tricks. So basically, with the indicator, you get the Training123 Rankle Bars. And there's a video on the Rankle Bar settings and how to use the Rankle Bar settings for each and, diff each and every different future from the ES, YM, NQ, CL. We give you a breakdown on the settings because the Renko bars do make a difference in the overall trend. As you see here, we have a pretty smooth trend going up and down with the Renko bars. So what the trail stop does is it plots a line underneath the candle bar here. As the price moves up, the line is blue and you can change these to any color you wish in the settings menu and then when the price moves down it puts a line above the candle and it moves down with the price action now these trail stops are pretty good guidelines to use when you're trading so every trader is different so you may want to use you may want to put your stop above it or just a little bit below it because some traders will you know use a wider stop and some traders will use a tighter stop but one tip I want to tell you is what I do is pretty much three candles so if I'm short right here you know coming down in this short my stop is going to be just above this second green candle which would have been pretty much right on that line and then if I'm long I'm going to move it up and it'd be pretty much on the line here of the second candle so by the third candle you know you're out and then you get short so as you can see the overall accuracy is pretty accurate with the trend changes now with every indicator you should trade in sim mode to get used to you know what you're trading using the indicator in the market in each day using it under different conditions you know Mondays may be a slow day and then Tuesdays there's news and crude oil is taking off you know going up a point and a half so you want to trade it under very different you know various days at least two to three weeks in sim mode as I always tell everyone, it's like my neighbor who's a pilot. He trained in sim mode to fly a plane for eight weeks, you know, learning all the controls, the settings, takeoff, landings, etc. Before they put him in a actual real plane to fly with, you know, 300 people in it, risking their lives. So you don't want to risk your capital on a new indicator. Practice in sim mode until you fully understand it. So let's look at crude oil here. Uh, basically, we got a wave up, a wave down, no big breakout here. But here's the big breakout. You get these two, three waves like this. I call them the W pattern. So always you, you wait for the first green Renko candle, then the second green Renko candle, then the third one. This is plotting blue at the bottom. Here, let's do it like this. So, when to enter a trade. Comes down, there's your first sign of a blue trend change with the stop. Starts to take off goes higher so your entry on the reversal is right above the second or the third bar here above the red line here it's hard to see because the logos in the background see right there so you'd get in more than likely on the third candle just like here and then you ride it up you see up uh, here's one tip on trading you see a red candle with a long wick at the top that's a sign of a trend change same thing with a green candle after a downtrend with the long wick at the bottom 
So you're in here, say 53.93, and you ride it up, ride it up, hit a little pullback here. It goes all the way up to 54, 27, 28, and then the train trend changes. So if you're in here at the 93, say we got out at the 23, so you made 30 ticks. Anyways, on this trade, you could have made potential 10 to 30 ticks based on your experience. You follow it up, the trend change, crude moves pretty quick, so you gotta have your stop there. And then you take your profits and then you make up your mind if you wanna go short. Here it's going into noon. So it's going into noon and usually I don't trade between 12 and one. And so if you missed along, you could take the short. Like I said, your entry would be right here at this blue line. So it's on the third candle. Looking to make crude on average moves 10 to 20 ticks. So depending on how many contracts, it's up to you on your profits. So your enter here at, say, 54 quarter to make it easy. Goes down to 54.15, 54.10. You got 15 tick profit, 54.05, I'd be out, and then boom, you got your 20 ticks. And then it's going into noon, so there's no sense of trading anymore. You just made your money, come back and trade the last hour, 1.30 to 2.30 in crude oil. So let's look at a, a trade example here on the NQ. So basically, this is the NQ here. Got the trading one, two, three, Renko bars, the trail stop on it here. We just come off a downtrend and we're coming into the one o'clock time frame when the market usually reverses. And so your entry would be right above the red line here. The blue lines are already forming. You get in. This is your stop. You trail it up, trail it up, trail it up. And there's your first red candle with a wick and the trail stop hits it on the second candle for an excellent trade this is like picture perfect trade so if you miss this trade on the long you could always take it short so this trade was a, a nice breakout you know you're not going to hit super home runs every day if you hit singles and doubles and be consistent in your trading every day you'll be in it for the long haul that's what trading is all about you just can't expect to be trading for uh, say less than a year and, 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 and go out and think you're going to make $2,000 a day when you haven't even learned how to make a hundred. So, you know, it, it's, you're like a journeyman electrician. They start out, you know, they're, they're doing all the crap work and getting a paycheck every day. And so a trader, when you first start out, basically you're, you're learning the market and try not to lose your paycheck every day. So it does take, to take some time and discipline because the market, you know, it doesn't do the same thing every day. But if you have the right tools, you'll come out ahead than the other traders that are still using some outdated MACD or stochastics. I listened to a seminar a couple weeks ago of this Dr. Sobuddy, whoever his name was, been trading for 30 years and how he uses his stochastic in MACD to predict turns. And it was just garbage, 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 garbage. This is way more accurate than any outdated indicators. So let's look at the next chart. As you see, these patterns pretty much repeat. Here's crude oil, and basically, this is where the, you know, you have your run up here, small pullback, and then a breakout. Your entry is right here. The blue trail stop has already started. It starts to move up, so you're in at, say, let's just say 62. It runs up 20, 30 tick potential profit. It gets its first red candle. I mean, if you get 20 ticks on two contracts of crude oil, that's $400. Most people don't make that during the day. So you're getting, you know, $400 profit in a, in a run like this. 
you take it. You know, you don't, uh, you know, try to squeeze more out of it. You, when, when the indicators in the market is telling you the, the, the Renko bars are turning red and it's hitting the trail stop, you don't think it's going to, you know, just go a couple bars and then zoom back up this way 30 ticks. You know, that's why there's, you know, patterns that repeat wave patterns. You have your five waves up, three waves down, and, you know, the market goes into a resistance area here, like say on a weekly resistance, it's not going to go any further. And one thing you want to do is never trade on hope. Well, I hope it bounces back. I remember I was in a chat room years ago and a guy says, ah, ah I'm going to take this long. I hope, I hope it works. I shorted it. I made money. The room lost money. He did five more trades on hope and they all lost money. <laughs> Trading on hope. Too funny. So here's a trade that I did in crude oil. As you see here, the market was trending down. It had this little bounce here. It failed. And then I got short right at the blue line. And basically, I mean, you could be a, more aggressive and get, you know, short a little higher up, second or third candle. But the market had sold off here and didn't know if it was going to keep going lower. And it did. So basically, it sells off. I have my trail stop. I want to protect my profits below the red line actually because I don't want to give away three ticks on five contracts that's 150 bucks so we got a nice profit there here are my profit targets basically it goes down to right around 62 and you know bounces so that was a good trade so that's how the trading one two three trail stop indicator works It can be used in any futures or, you know, trading stocks, any markets worldwide. So that was a lot to cover on the indicator, but it's everything you need to know. If you have any other further questions, you can always email support at trading123.net or call us on the phone. We're here every day. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook and Twitter. And go to our main webpage and sign up for our push alerts. So hope you enjoyed the video and good luck with your trading.